The hot new dinosaur film 65 has been out for two weeks now, which means we've all had plenty of time to digest the events of the movie. I watched it for a second time the other day, and I have to say I enjoyed it just as much as I did the first time. Some of the dinosaur designs really don't bother me. The pterosaur, velociraptor, trudontid, and tyrannosaurs design specifically actually looked pretty cool. If anything, I wish we saw more of the pterosaurs. But in the same film that gave us this, we have this. What the fuck? And this things that don't look like anything that could have existed. Jacob already went over the large quadruped carnivore that was most likely inspired by the Postosuchus, which is why I've given it the name Tyrannosuchus. But what we haven't gone over is this small nothosaurus-looking dinosaur monster creature thing. So today, let's go over whether this dinosaur really existed, and how there might actually be some legitimacy to this apparent fictional beast. Bear in mind there will be some spoilers for the movie, so if you haven't seen it yet, come back after you've watched it. So subscribe and chomp the notification button so you know just where to go for 65 videos. What's up, Resident Alistair here, and we're back with more 65 goodness. In the film, Adam Driver's character, Mills, is a member of an ancient alien civilization that lived many light years away from our solar system. And on an exploratory journey, he came in contact with an asteroid, that's right, the asteroid, and he crash lands on Earth 65 million years ago. So he and the one remaining survivor, Koa, must journey 15 kilometers to get to the escape pod to get off the planet before the world-ending asteroid makes impact, and they encounter all sorts of terrifying beasts along the way. On their adventure, they lose contact with the escape pod, and Mills has to climb a tree to spot it. But after a scorpion climbs up his arm, he flinches and falls nearly 50 feet to the ground, winding himself and dislocating his shoulder. Whilst this happens, we see a pack of the crawlers lurking out of the mist, grouping up to take down their prey, which on this occasion is Mills and Koa. With long, maneuverable hind legs, razor-sharp teeth, and piercing eyes, it certainly entices fear into the audience. Mills just manages to relocate his shoulder just as the creatures pounce on him, and he opens fire, blasting them out of the air like the alien ninja marksman he is. And Koa uses the opportunity to run. There's potentially over a dozen of them, though, and it feels like they keep coming, and they seem to overpower Mills. And we cut to see Koa fleeing to the beach, populated by a flock of pterosaurs. We see that a few of the crawlers have separated from their pack, however, and they pounce on the unsuspecting pterosaurs, finally able to catch their next meal. But they spot Koa hiding by a log, and they begin lurking towards her, to claim yet another bounty, before Mills comes out of the forest and obliterates them with his sonic rifle before he kneels on the sand, clearly wounded from the vicious attacks. Another crawler comes from behind Koa and snatches her away, potentially back to whichever hole it came out of. Mills runs to her rescue and fires in the air, scaring the beast away. So, what could these dinosaurs actually be? Most of the animals in the film are at least identifiable, like T-Rex, Velociraptor, and Jacopil, but these are like nothing ever seen in the Cretaceous Animal Kingdom. Before the film released, we theorized they were nothosaurs, an aquatic reptile that lived in the Triassic period, ancestors to the Jurassic plesiosaurs. But we have recently discovered new evidence that could tell us exactly what this thing is. In researching for my video, I took a look at the score for the film, and I found this track, which was used for the ambush scene with the crawlers. And this song is called Lego Attack, which points us towards one particular prehistoric reptile, the Lego Sucus. 
Legosuchus is an extinct archosaur from the late Triassic of Argentina. Legosuchus was a lightly built archosaur with many features that indicate it's a precursor to non-avian dinosaurs. Notable for its long, slender legs and well-developed feet, these features, along with the shape of its hips, suggest that it could have run on its hind legs for short periods of time, although it most likely moved on all fours most of the time, just like what we see in the film. Although unlike the film, which has these terrifying predators being wolf-sized, the real Legosuchus stood at a height of 25 centimeters with a length of 51 centimeters and weighed around the same as a common pigeon. But despite its small size, Legosuchus was likely an agile predator that could use speed to chase its prey down and escape larger predators. They'd likely hunt for insects, unhatched eggs, grubs, and perhaps even smaller reptiles like Tatalura. Many people have come to call this reptile the Triassic Ferret, which I think is pretty cute. So, did this monster from 65 really exist? Well, kinda. The Legosuchus is a real Triassic reptile that did walk on all fours with long hind legs, but the reality of it is that the film version of the reptile is almost completely different such as the overall physiology of it and, most obviously, the increased size. Jurassic Park and World have been known to boost the size of certain dinosaurs like the Velociraptor and Pyroraptor, and it looks like they did the same thing in 65, taking an animal that stood no more than 25 centimeters tall and gave it steroids to grow to 5 feet tall, which is quite the jump. Also, where are its organs? This is so unnatural, get that dino a sandwich! I'm just happy to finally put a name to this animal thanks to the film's soundtrack. Now, if only they could do the same for this guy. What did you think of the Lego Sucus from 65? Did you like the tent scene they were in? Or were you too distracted by not knowing what you were looking at? Let us know in the comment section down below. Remember to subscribe and chomp the notification button to keep up to date on everything big, green, and scaly. If you want more 65 videos, like an analysis on this little armored fellow, then leave a like because it lets us know what you want to see more of. I've been Alistair, and we'll see you residents in the next one.